Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using these four trays from Dollar Tree and these two hanging signs also from Dollar Tree. I started by taking wood filler and filling in the holes that I removed the twine from. And I just did one hole on either sign and the opposite. So one will have the right one and the other one will have the left. And then I painted all four trays with cottage white chalk paint by Folk Art, painting everything but the sides of the trays on the outside and gave the rest of it two coats. Once the wood filler was dry, I sanded down those spots. And then I took some water and sprayed it on the signs. It just helps the paint spread better. I covered those with the same white chalk paint and gave those two coats covering them entirely. Once those were dry, I needed to attach my trays. So I just will line them up so they're flush on the back side of the sign and the back side of the sign is the one that has the hole so just made sure that the hole is facing the back and then use my square to just get some measurements the bottom of the first tray is marked at three and a half inches and the second tray is marked at 10 inches To glue them into place, I use Gorilla Grip glue as well as hot glue. And the Gorilla Grip glue gives it a stronger hold, the hot glue just gives it an immediate hold. And then for the third shelf, I measure it down from the bottom of the second shelf and I glue that down six and a half inches below the bottom of the second shelf. The last little shelf is glued down seven inches from the third shelf, the bottom of the third shelf. And then to attach the other side, I use the same glues, the Gorilla Grip glue, put that on all of the other sides of the trays, and then add in the hot glue. After I add on the hot glue, I take my other sign and place that down, making sure the back is flush with the trays, and then let that dry for a while. And then I'm going to add in a hanger. So I just took this braided twine, pushed it through the outside of the hanger to the center and knotted it a couple times, left some excess, and then pushed it through the other side, which I couldn't get it through, so I just added some tape just to push that through that hole in the hanger and then did a couple knots again and cut off the excess. And that is it for this project. Super easy to make and I love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching.